time to start mowing sprigs. And the reason why we start mowing so early is we want to force the grass to go sideways. The more we can mow and clip the tops, the more effort and energy it'll have to force it going laterally and spread across the open spaces. Got everything mowed. We're gonna grow the whole place in, minus the greens, at half an inch. And then we will keep growing and growing and growing until it's time to separate the roughs and the fairways. And then the architect will come out and he will paint the mow lines for the fairways. And then we will raise the roughs. It's a lot easier to go up than it is to go down. So we will train this grass all at half an inch and then separate by going up. As you can see, it's, it's mowed down a little bit, not quite as fuzzy. We'll mow it a couple times a week, just keep buzzing the tops off, trying to force that lateral growth. So today we're gonna cut, tomorrow we're gonna fertilize. It's time to jumpstart this stuff, really kick it into high growing gear while we got it this blistering heat. Like you can see here, these little hummox bumps. You see how they're just a little bit fuzzier than the rest of it over here? There's a good way of looking at it. So we'll come back and mow these by hand. It's because you can see right in here that the machines were digging a little bit. It's super soft right there still. So to preserve the contours and everything, we'll come in and use a hover mower on those things and, and grow them in that way. But it's non-stop water, non-stop mowing, non-stop fertilizer now. Pole number three, green, just planted. So now we water, water, water. Tomorrow we will roll it, put some pre-plant fertilizer down. So there's some nutrition in the ground when this stuff starts dropping sprigs. In two weeks we'll be mowing it. This is number four green, and this is how you plant sprigs. All greens are hand planted so that we don't disturb the very manicured contours of the sand. So we just do it by hand. We call it feeding the chickens. Just take it and shake it out real good and make it nice and even. And Spread them out. Over the last 12 years, I have spent a considerable effort to try and get rid of all of the rocks that are going to be just underneath the airway areas of the short grass area now that is 13 green and this is the new approach area between it so what I'm doing is taking the bucket on this excavator and I'm just scratching like you can see I just got that I'm just scratching the surface going down about six eight inches and if I hit a rock I'm pulling it out so we can get rid of it in all of these areas like this is the area between 18 green and 13 green. This is all going to be shortcut approach. And so I'm taking the time now to get through these areas, dig out all the rock and everything so we don't break air fires and summer maintenance equipment trying to do the things we need to do to take care of the new turf. These things are majorly problematic for air fires. They break all sorts of stuff when we hit them. So, time to get them out now. <laughs> 